yodeling over in the booth. Let's see what's going on with this guy. What are you up to, Kevin? Saving. What are you doing? I pulled the cab off the chassis. Oh, well here. I want you to take a look here and see if we made a nice little blend into that fender there to make yeah, it you're... look a little better. I'm gonna put this on and You've take been... a look at it. And... Been busy trying to gap the car. Well, look. I'm trying to make Eleanor an Ellen DeGeneres. Not an easy test. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. <laughs> There she is. Front fender's on. Kevin's been working on him. You put the gaps in the front, the pan here. Move this pan a little bit forward over here. And now we're going to be working this fender to the apron portion right there. So both of them are going to get leveled up after he's finished gapping everything. Yeah, I want to get the fender gap to the body. Then once we got that done, then we're going to come down the bottom. We'll pull this straight and we'll get this the bottom edge of this left front fender, even with the uh, front fascia on it. And we'll have her looking pretty then. Sounds good, with, Kev. With, with hope. Yeah. It just takes a little bit. Yeah. She fought a little, now she's giving it in. There you go. All right, looks good. She's getting there. All right. So Kevin's in the middle of working that fender, getting it all leveled out to the front of the car. Looking pretty damn good. This fender, for the most part, fits really well. We just want to make the left and the right symmetrical. And the only way to do fill in the gaps is like that is just to add material at that point. It's not a lot. It's just enough to clean the gap up. So when you put the weld in, it'll look really nice. And that was the goal of this all along. Plus, you're going from a glass fender to a metal body. With the weld in the middle, it ain't going to hurt the work. The expansion contraction, it's not like metal to metal. And then you have uh, an area that you're leveling up. So it'll be pretty forgiving. It'll look good. Never had fiberglass match a metal body yet. No, but no, we'll make it work. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, Kev. Okay, here are the doors. We've been spending lots of time getting this and that one to look kind of the same on the inside. They've been a little bit, a bit of a fight, but we're cleaning up pretty good. We're getting really close. And see in here, we put a little bit more work into there. And then we're gonna sand all that out just to make sure it's all nice and neat in the gaps. Stuff you'll never see, but things we do. It's the things we do. Also, this bad boy here, I'm gonna put this on the table here. It's ready to go. That's the brace. We're gonna put that in epoxy one more time. We're gonna epoxy seal it, and then we're gonna 99K it. Same thing with the insides of the doors. We're gonna 99K inside this little area here. And then we're gonna 99K up in this roof in here, and in that area there. Let's All right, let's take a look at her. All righty, let's do that. looks like hell. I ain't touched the back end of that fender yet. I don't even look at the other fender, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's mucho better. That's terrible over here. Yeah, you get the front and then you gotta work the back. That's not right, bad there. This is, uh, That's not bad there. That gap up. don't look bad there. We're gonna lower the fender to there on both. This looks like hell. You know, and then this, this one here. This has gotta be filled in. It's gonna have to be. This is a completely different shape than that one. Okay. Take a look over there. Look yep. Again. Now yeah, it's not. It. It's not conforming. Yeah, it's not for the clearance on the hood. Because this hood is gonna rattle around. It'll end up taking the paint off. Of yeah. It. Well, what I'm gonna have to do on this is I'm gonna have to bring this down and forward a little bit to bring the hood tighter over here and loose it over here. But for the most part, this is looking good. And then we're gonna bring this glass fender down into this apron. And then we're just gonna work this one the same way. The other side, like you said, this is what I wanna do. I wanna just put a little bit in that jam down into here and that'll fill that void. I don't need to change this, I just need to add to that. Right. And then that'll close that right. gap and up I'll and pull it good. And just bring it all back in yeah. even. 
and then we'll I'm going to take this hood and I'm going to average the two, bring this down, and then I bring it forward and it'll swing it back and then I'm going to be all right. So that's where I'm at with that because the hood is definitely over tighter on this side. No, they're getting close. They don't get the welting down the front, do they? They just get it up the top, or does it go all the way? I got to go to the pitchers. Yeah, check, check Volkswagen and see how they go. So that's good. That yeah. depends on how. I got my head buried in a 53 Ford today, and you're over here doing the profiling on this. You're just filling voids in where the stamping's off. Yeah. So looking pretty well, good. Yeah, but we get them all tightened up. Yeah, ma'am. It's hard to believe what it looks like when it comes in. Huh? She's come a long way. <laughs> That's a lot of hours, baby. <laughs> That's a lot of hours. If, I'm, glad if I, could, I'm glad you could see the end product. When I well, started, I did. I otherwise, the, the thing is, I gotta have, I got to vision your car done in order to do it. i got to see that end game, man. And this is it. You know, All right. You know what we could do? We could make this like a southeastern truck. We could paint the body red and the fender black. Yeah, you ain't going to be hauling freight in this. You're going to be hauling ass in this. That's what you're going to be doing. You don't understand. Yeah, you're you going to be hauling a lot in this, but you're not hauling <laughs> ass. It's going to be one of the things you'll be doing. <laughs> yeah. So we'll add on the fender. The fender is well, not stamped good enough here, so we'll add it. You can yeah, see how right it goes in. Right. We just need it to it's not come so much over the body. about a quarter inch at the bottom. We need to fender yeah. it out and then psh, the All right. same bend. Well, we'll add the glass into the glass, get that done, close that gap up, yeah. and that'll be good there. Sounds yeah. good, man. Yeah. All right. That would solve a lot of problems. I can, I yeah. Can. We don't have to add any more material in the body. The only thing we had to do was we had no choice, but we had to add the gaps into this to get them correct. Yeah. That was an important thing. And now we're going to add on that fender in the bottom here. Yeah. Get that yeah, one done. We'll, we'll pull that back a little bit. And we'll okay. All right, everyone. Do, we just do the same thing on, on both. Yeah. Just pull her down a little bit and we get them evened out. Okay, so what we did is we tightened up the body line on the car and then we added fiberglass into the glass here to fill the void. This wasn't shaped enough to close the gap, so we added a little bit. And then we brought it all together, it looks really good, and then we're bringing this into profile right there, both sides. On this side here, we did the same thing, we just tightened up that line. And then back here, this is actually good. So when I bolt it on, it's right on the money. So just a little tweaking of one of the glass fenders. We brought this down, brought this one up a little bit, and we're pretty good. Next thing for us is getting this area corrected. Hood sits a tad high here and still a little bit there. I brought it down and a little bit forward to straighten her out, but still a little bit off. Other than that, um, we're getting closer. Um, we're painting the hatch black and the seat 
race is going black. Right now, you can already see I got a first coat on the other half of it. Um, I'm going to put it on the forward half. The reason why I waited a little bit is because I put in epoxy primer as our sealer. So I just wanted to make sure it tacked really well. Okay, we're at the point now, I'm going to put clear on this, put two nice coats of clear on the seat brace and the hatch access coat. Okay, um, we have them painted. They're painted. Okay, that's the first step in the right direction for completing the Eleanor project that's here at Classic Car Creations. Everybody, hope you enjoyed some updates real quick that we wanted to present to you. I know it's not a lot, but it's something. Um, next step for us is going to be painting black inside the doors, up under the roof, um, in the corridors of the car itself. Okay, thanks so much. Take care, everyone. See you soon.